Hey everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome back to RimWorld Sword and Sorcery. So, uh, just a quick recap of what's happened between episodes. I finally got a mod that worked and allowed me to uh, build doormats so we can help deal with the filth a little bit more. Uh, I also got a mod that made it so that the rain washes away more than just blood. It can wash away exterior dirt and all other and well not all other stuff, but other stuff. So now we can keep the exterior of our base easier by just making Rolana, you know, make it rain, basically. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we also got this little nonsense here. Um set up. We got a meteor land in the middle of our base. Uh, let's see, I'm converting this into a goblin stone house because I now have two goblins that are both wizards, so I figured I'd turn this into goblin stone just for them. And that is Geats the Necromancer. He was not a necromancer when I got him, but he raided me. I captured him, he was magically gifted, and I had a necromancer book that I purchased. So, he is now Geats the Necromancer. And he is teamed up with Giggles the Summoner. So this is their spot. Uh, I also finally uh, recruited a warrior that I made. A, I gave a spear, named him Rhino, as requested by someone earlier on in the series. And he was already a gladiator, so I just basically changed his name. I got him from a raid as well. Uh, Tyron and Greenlight are also parts of the colony. One is a ranger, green light. Uh, I recruited her from visiting elves, and she was already a ranger. Tyron, on the other hand, was a normal elf. Like it says, he was an elf villager. Well, he now a fire mage, because <laughs> I bought one of those books. And as far as I can tell, there's only a few classes, I think only two classes left, that we have not taken. Oh, one left, power. And I have no idea what a power mage is. That's right, over here, I got a book and gave it to Mole. He is a lightning mage, so there you go. So yeah, I'm turning this into a goblin house, and then I'm thinking about making like a mage academy area, thanks to a, rec it was actually the idea of someone in the comments uh, to build a big ass library and make it be for, um, and then have multiple bedrooms attached to it. So we're turning it into like a mage dormitory. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and put elven, carved elven jade embrasures to allow the heat to pass. And as you can see, our base is not all that clean yet, but we're getting there now that we have the floor mats. All right, and I need to put the lights back in here. I would have turned all this into goblin stone as well, but apparently the terrain can't support that. All right, let's go to furniture. Dwarven Ithildin wall lights. Well, I guess I gotta wait for these walls to get built, huh? All right, well, we're still gonna put one here. One here. Here. And here to light up the main room. I think we can put one here and here. And then in each bedroom, I'd say up against the wall. There we go. That'll be done now. See, Cumming still has her room there. I like that she's got a rifle set up. Uh, Rathus and Ryder, Shog, Lavender and Brock. Okay. Oh, also, I reworked everybody's priorities. So now we only have two blacksmiths, two tailors, two normal crafters. And then we have cooks, miners, all that. So now that everything's been worked out like that, um, things should be more efficient. I'm also going to remove this roof right here. Because I'm sure there's like an overhead mountain or some crap here, so I want to I want to get rid of it, so I can mine this down and rebuild my damn fence. So where was the gate to the fence down here? It was right there. Okay. Right there where there's a nonsense piece of stone in my way. Cool. Haul it. Get out of here. So yeah, now that I have my uh, more work priorities done, 
planting should be easier. As should... Uh, what's it called? Cleaning. So, let's hope that works out for us. And as soon as everybody wakes up and finishes these walls, we should be good. And at this point, I don't know if I'm going to be recruiting many more characters. I mean, I'm going to recruit at least one more. Because I don't think we have a single non-specialist here. I mean, I'll look, but I think they all have special classes. So I, apparently, I'm going to have to recruit at least one more dude. Uh, to be a power mage. Again, whatever the hell that is. So yeah, we'll have to see. Silvernus, huh? Okay. Uh, I didn't put floor mats in here because as we've talked about in multiple episodes now, this needs to be torn the hell down. I don't know if any of the people in here are in relationships. Not so far, so they're all going to require private rooms. Which is why the dormitory idea works so well for me. Please don't have a wall collapse on me. Whew, no collapsing walls. I'm always nervous about that crap. Okay, so we have all this rubble and crap outside. Let's see if Rolana can wash some of that away for us. Rainmaker, please. Rilana levels up super fast. He's got six points available. Yeah, see, so even some of this filth is getting washed away now, which before it wouldn't. So that'll save a lot of time for our cleaners. Thank you for getting the lights done. Uh, Denal, are the materials not there for the rest of them? No, they're not. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this is still shut down. Which I'm fine with. Because we have a lot of raw materials up here that can be used elsewhere. Also, yeah, we've been finding gold. Not as much as I could use, though. So we do have a few more Rivendell bows, which should probably be put to use. Rifle, rifle. What kind of bow you have? Rivendell? Okay, cool. I just want to make sure that all of my non-ranged fighters, like, non-ranged fighters, uh, non-melee fighters, like my mages and stuff, get some decent bows. What kind of bow you have? Cool. Hammer and a rifle. Ah, the bard. Please equip a Rivendell bow as a sidearm. Geats. Rivendell bow as a sidearm. Mole. Rivendell bow as a sidearm. Get to it, guys. Solace can't fight. Brock, I feel like you should have a rifle, but you are not a melee fighter either, so pick up a Rivendell bow. Geats. Geats doesn't even have a melee weapon. How about you come get a medieval longsword, Geats? I'll give you a staff or something later, but just come get the medieval longbow. I mean, medieval longsword. Uh, Rivendell bow is a sidearm. Okay, so again, I just want to make sure... What was that? There we go. Okay. Just gonna do this real quick to make sure everybody's well-armed. 
you are going to go pick up a Rivendell bow. Thank you. Solace, you can't really do much. You just picked up a bow. You have a rifle, bow, and a sword. Ah, an elf with a rifle is what's about to happen. Which I'm okay with. Equip a smoothbore musket as a sidearm. Thank you. Tyrant. Oh, yeah, you're a ranged mage. Equip that as a sidearm. Green light. I'm pretty sure her bow is nowhere near as good. Oh yeah, nah, you need a you need a Rivendell bow. Which I don't have any more of. Well, next time we get one built. <laughs> Which uh spot was making them? Oh, we're we're making one more, so it shouldn't be a big deal. So I need to remember green light needs a bow. A better bow. She has a bow. But she needs a better one. Do you even have a melee weapon? You don't. And I don't have any to give you. Area revealed. Oh, that's right. I have a bunch of mining work going on right now. To try to clear out some of these areas. Food binge. You're all right, Anita. Binge all the food you want. I don't care. Nice. I feel like maybe one of these lights should go... up here to light the nook. Just one. Are both bedrooms lit? Yeah. All right, so... Now that's done... I want this area up here to be finished. This is going to be like a magic academy up here. I know it's going to be way out in the middle of nowhere, but eh. And I think what I'll do is to open this up. I will probably leave the magic work table and the gem crafting table. But I might, since these are kind of crowding it, I might move these to the magic academy. Yeah, maybe not the dog beds, but the um, uh, the tables, the scribing tables. Might put those in people's individual rooms, too. Move this bed down here. And all that will get taken care of as soon as it's, you know, as soon as the game continues. Everybody wakes up in the like. So yeah, I want a power mage. Where are you going? To eat in our great hall. I am actually very proud of this particular building. Rum... Wine. We still don't have any berry wine. Eek. And I'm not going to interfere with the miner's work right now. Because all of this is actually stuff that needs to get done. As far as I'm concerned. Mana surge, huh? Alright. Where you going, Geats? Hmm. Doesn't look like the roof was removed from there. It should have been. 100% should have been. I mean, I'm glad you guys are hauling that, but where are my miners? There they are. Yeah, I'm okay with them working on, like I said, the exterior walls. It's all stuff that needs to come down. For my own defenses. I wonder what level Solace is for his healing now. He's got seven points, so let's 
build up the resurrection skill and the blessing. Cool. Hmm. Zero of three. Does that mean I can level up the spell itself? I don't think I've seen that before. So yeah, nobody's really mining up here yet. And that's where I want the mage uh, quarters to be. Guy's almost there. Yeah, this will get torn down soon. Dude, I know how the sidearms work. I've been using this mod forever. Come on. Keep on mining. Uh, dude. Oh, your mining's at 11. That explains a lot. I was wondering, why are you guys mining so slow? We can see now why. These guys are not good miners. <laughs> about to break through in several places down here. I thought we were going to get raided for a second there, the way it froze up on us. Yo, Geats. Are you just here to collect stuff? Okay, then. See you later. So yeah, he's a necromancer, but he has no spells. Oh, okay, I have to tell him which ones to learn. What's Corpse Mastery? It's caused the body to explode. Really? Maybe we'll learn Cheating Death, Raise Undead. Only works on creatures that were once living. Undead will remain under the Necromancer's control indefinitely. Each undead human will incur a mana upkeep cost of 30% of base mana regeneration. Undead animals incur a 15%. Hmm. There's no limit to what he can have, but uh, when he, if he runs out of mana, the undead are destroyed until he gets to a manageable level. Huh, okay. Cool. Well, you a necromancer, you know that's what I'm going to go with. I mean, why be a necromancer if you're not going to toy with the undead, right? I feel like putting a boundary on the other side of the um, moat, like a fence, but I know the enemy could use that for cover, so I won't, even though it would look aesthetically pleasing. Huh. Okay, well, since they are taking their time doing this down here, I really wish they would mine this out so I can build my academy. So I guess my academy is just going to be built farther down then. Structure. Let's start with the library part of the structure first. What is the lightest color stone I currently have? I don't have enough ironwood. Limestone will probably be the lightest color we have. What the hell is that? Silver ore? We'll mine that out here in a minute. Okay, yeah. So let's start with what is going to be a big library. Let's go 17. I know, you guys will mine it when you get there. Crap. Let's start that over again with normal walls. Yeah, I want this to be a huge structure. Okay, so we are 17 across. 
Let's do a triple jade door. Space is already occupied. Damn you. I know the space is already occupied. Still, just let me do it. One, two, three, four. Okay, this would be a lot easier if I just did something like this. Seven. Seven. There we go. So it'll be like a great library type structure. Okay. We'll have to put like a central pillar system. But I have ideas. Wonder if we should stop with the fishing. Oh, a lot of our people aren't actually fishing. Oh, it's the ones with the animal handler skills are the ones going fishing. Okay. Actually, I think because of everything I've built up here, I can mine this whole area out now. In fact, I know I can. So with all these other structures going into place, we'll be just fine. Now this isn't going to be able to be roofed quite yet. I kind of feel like we should cancel the mining outside of our walls for now. Considering I have so much work to do inside my walls. You want to do sure. <laughs> Don't mine all the way up to the... Don't mine past the moat, please. Okay. Yeah, look at Solace just ripping through that area. Relana can do some more rain shortly. trying to decide where I'm going to put the dormitories. Because, like I said, I want it to be... I don't know if I said that. I think I did. I want it to be, like, for all of my other mages. Like, this is my goblin mages. Over here, though, I think I might want to do... Um, what are those one mages called? Like, my elemental mages. So I need fire, lightning, earth, water, and a space for the power mage when I have one. Because I still don't know what the hell a power mage entails. And look at Mole go. So yeah, we're just going to need a couple more days to clear out the land around here. I don't want to cancel this building project, though, because I want to clear up that land as well. Because I'm going to be building basically a small city over here. As long as our dudes keep mining this mountain out, we will have plenty of space. Because we're going to have five people gathered here, and possibly more if any of my mages have spouses. Or lovers, or whatever. Son of a... Look. This is... Both of them live here. Jesus. Yep, yeah, come on. Hurry up, guys. Chop, chop. 
Why are you telling me about stockpiles now? <laughs> I know how the stockpiles work. Okay, come on, guys. Really wish they'd work up here, but I know why they're not. They're just, yeah. I actually don't know what they're, how they gauge their priorities. That's why I've always wanted a this game to have like the priority system, like oxygen not included. It's like I can make this a priority one to mine here, and this is a priority like five to mine over here. You know, that is always something I wish this game would do. There may be bonds for that. I don't know. But it feels good to finally get this shit cleared out. Okay. Let me start planning the bedrooms. Seven. Huh. Let's go. Is that about the same? Seven. Seven. Six. Six. That actually works out. So those can be our mage quarters, uh, the four that we already have. Come on. And I do really like the jade doors. I am getting a little sick of the fact that the game has now decided to not let me build doors on, you know, what used to be walls, that used to be normal, like, they didn't care. Hmm. Gonna put some braziers here and here. Uh, this will be to heat the building. Uh, furniture, not furniture, uh, miscellaneous. We're gonna go with blue doormats. Nice, okay. So these bedrooms should be done very quickly. I know I need one more for the power mage and I'm thinking up here at the top. So let's take one of these. So it's 17 across, okay. So five in. Okay. So if I go seven across right here, that should be it. So one, two, three, four, five. And then down like this. It doesn't look nearly as wide from that angle, but hey. Okay. Yeah, this whole area should be done very soon. Thankfully, nobody's locked themselves in a room with no exit. Although I'm sure it's coming. Let's not let's not lie to ourselves here. I'm actually gonna break these open too. Be nice to have like little side doors. Like, these would be the side entrances for the students. So, Avenged? Were you actually working or were you just staring at something? 
Because it kind of felt like you were just staring at something. Lavender and Brock are getting married. Okay, cool. Don't take forever about it. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. What? Oh, pfft. Switch to your bow, dude. Switch to your bow. Oh my god, how many times I gotta do this? Shouldn't have that many hunters. But there we go. Alright guys, keep working on the academy. I like how Cummings just doesn't really give a shit about the wedding. Hello? Alright, whatever. She just gonna sleep up there or what? Cause I I have questions. Yeah, you can't go through the water. Well, I guess you're sleeping outside for tonight, cause I'm not too worried about this shit right now. No, I have a few jobs for you. I want you to do them right now. I'm getting sick of waiting. Okay. Shog, you're a really good miner. Can you come do this? Just open up a gap. See? You can get out now. Not a problem. Alright, so now that this is opened up, let's go with the embrasures. These are going to go on, uh, go right behind every one of those. We're going to put in the jade doors. Good thing I don't have a hard time finding jade anymore. Actually, did I ever? I actually don't think I ever did. <laughs> so yes, the mage quarters are coming along nicely. Okay. Kind of want to mess around. That whole thing was about mad squirrels. It's a joke, right? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Kind of want to have fun with the carpets on this one. Because, let's see, we have blue, which could be for the water mage. We have... Huh, what do we want for the lightning? I guess yellow would be lightning, even though it's going to look hideous. Yellow for lightning. And I can't build anymore because these aren't, these aren't done. They're just psychotic squirrels. You can speed the game up. Fine. Where's a hunter? And where's our other ranger? It's Cummings, right? No. Well, some of you guys have weapons that can work. You guys just come down here and murder squirrels.
These creatures are being a problem. I can't do- the time will not speed up until I've killed them all. Man, these bows sound nasty. Just kill them. So yeah, bringing all our hunters out here is, was a good thing. But they're not even our hunters, they're just archers. Santa, stay over here. There's one of those little buggers right there. And our archers aren't playing around. Look at the range they're shooting at. Hit the squirrels already. Are they all dead? I'd really like to speed up time again, so are they all dead? Yes. Alright guys, you're free to go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. this back here? Iron ore? That's cool. Don't need it. Alright, so we went water, lightning, mm. fire, and earth. So we need a brown carpet. They don't give it to us. So we're gonna have to settle for green for earth. Yeah, there's no just brown carpet. And for fire, let's go with orange. Seems like a good fit. If I had marble, that's what I'd like put on the floors inside. But I don't. Be amazing if you guys mind this shit out. I have an idea, so let's come here. Hi. Get to work. <laughs> I'll let you out when you're done. There you go. You can go do whatever you want now, Solus. And orange. Now I can start putting it in the beds, too. Royal blue bed. Made out of what now? Make it out of Malorn. that up here like this. That's Malorn. Okay, we're gonna go with green. I'll, uh, also out of Malorn, because it looks nice. Uh, yellow was up here, right? Yeah. So we can do a yellow royal bed, also out of Malorn. And there is no orange, so we're going to go with red uh, for the fire mage down here. And I have these four mages already. I'm not going to turn this into a bedroom just yet because I don't know what mage to put in there. But I will for the floors because it says arcane mage or not arcane mage. Well, maybe he's arcane mage. I don't know what the hell he's called. Uh, let's go to more floors. For his carpet, I think we should just give it a purple. Like it's just this big mystical thing. But we're not even going to be putting that one in for a while anyway. Okay, 
furniture. Let's get the Ithilden wall lights in. They can all go on the wall right across from this. Furniture, Devil Strand animal beds, one in each bedroom. Because we got to make room for the animals. Like, I don't want them sleeping outside all the damn time. Okay, I think for... Uh, to support the walls, I think maybe... So that'll let me uh, actually wall uh, put a roof on this whole area. And as I start assigning like Rilana and everybody up here, we'll get to see like who needs to go up here. Furniture, uh, dresser, no. But they do need dressers. End tables more like. And then as I mentioned before, I think I'm going to move our little scribing stations. Oh, I have to disassemble them then. All right. Deconstruct. I can reinstall these, though. And I am going to do that. Okay. And we're going to build some copies of those. Because I'm going to build the scribing tables over there. So let's find those. I do like when they're made out of silver. 800 silver. Jesus. We'll get some of that back, though. I did not mean to make that out of... I did not mean to make that one purple. Uh... Do we have any builders? No. Go. Move that. The wrong bed. Yeah, blue is what I wanted. Out of Malorn Wood. Let's try that again. I don't care who sleeps in that bed. Random people can if they want, but I don't think anybody will claim it. So most of the other stuff's getting done. So yeah, I think this is a good a place as any to end the episode. Uh, we fought off the little mad animals. I'm surprised we haven't been raided recently, honestly. But place is progressively getting cleaner. Some of the places still need a massive cleaning, but we're getting better at it. Slowly catching up with the cleaning jobs. And yeah, we're about to have rooms for, you know, specialty rooms for five, maybe more. Uh, people, just because I don't know if any of the mages are in relationships. But either way, as I said, this seems to be a good place to stop, so thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more RimWorld Sword and Sorcery. Thanks again for watching, guys.